Hey everyone, welcome to Craig Tries. I'm your host, Craig McFarland. Today I'm trying drums. My good friend Ben Montgomery is going to teach me how to play them. I don't know if I can do it, I'm not very musically talented. We're going to find out. Here we go. Well, hello, Ben. Hello, sir. Are you are you ready to teach me how to play drums? I think so. I think so. I hope I hope you're ready. I'd probably not. No, probably not. Only one way to find out. Let's do it. <laughs> um. Well, in my opinion, there's there's a few different types of drummers. There's drummers that just want to hit hard and, and overpower everyone. And people think drummers are, are stupid, you know, that they have not a brain cell in their body, but drummers are pretty smart people. It takes a lot of, you know, brain power to coordinate all four limbs at the same time, in time keeping a band together. When I first saw the drums kit, um, I was nervous, I was terrified. You know, it's, everybody thinks it should be a super easy thing, but I'm not coordinated and it was like, there's more to the just beating it. So I was like, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do here. <laughs> when, especially when you're on stage with musicians that you respect, and you, you, you've played together a lot and you know each other really, really well and you know how each other play. Um, and you're inside the music and it's, it's, there's nothing like it, really. There's nothing like it. And the audience, when you're having a good time on stage, the audience can see that and they can feel that. So, <laughs> my family, I have four siblings and none of us have musical talent in our bones. My sister was the only one who ever went into band and uh, she also played some sports. And at the end of that first semester, the music instructor said, you're really good at soccer, right? She's like, yeah. Okay, maybe you should continue with soccer. So my family has no skills whatsoever. Uh, I can't sing, I just am not coordinated enough. There was no musical instrument I took music class until it was no longer mandatory, which I think is like grade six. So after that, it was just, uh, I can listen to music, that's about it. That's how I am when it comes to music skills. Okay, so Ben, how long have you been playing the drums for? I've been playing the drums since I was 16 years old, so 10 years now, yeah. Are you a late bloomer, like for 16? Yeah, I'm yeah. a late bloomer, very much a late bloomer. Yeah, I started off with guitar. I was a guitar player for five years. And I practiced and practiced and practiced and I could not get any better. So I decided to move to the drum kit and I picked it up, kind of like that, Just really. Just like that. Yeah, and then, uh, I saw drummers like Dave Grohl and you know Buddy Rich, those type of drummers, and yeah, I was just I was hooked. I was hooked, and that's what I wanted to be. I mean, drums are something that everybody plays at some point with the pots and pans, right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Uh, and so, when did you start teaching people how to play the drums? Um, well, it was probably when I was in when I was in university. You know, um, well, you know, I was a struggling university student, needed money, so. I was like, I could play the drums. I think I can teach how people how to play the drums. Yeah. So I just decided to start, you know, advertising for private lessons. And yeah, I got a few students and then uh, sort of uh, became a professional, you know, um, drum teacher, you know. And I've been teaching at the School of Rock, Calgary South, Cornerstone Music. They do the music program at Renart Private School. And then I've been teaching privately as well uh, since I've been here, you know. And I've been here for just over just over a year now, nice. you know. So it's still I'm, you know, still an early guy, you know, to the country. But yeah, I've been teaching drums for a long time, you know. And do you think anyone is capable of learning the drums? Anyone is capable of learning the drums. If you can count to four, 
um, and you have some sort of coordination, <laughs> then you can you can play the drums. Okay, I can definitely count to four. Coordination, though, <laughs> is not so. Can, I mean, can we'll you play. do that? Can you do that? I can't even do that. <laughs> no, I can't do it. It's okay, well, yeah, well, uh, I'm, I'm afraid, uh, yeah, I'm afraid that's not that's, the, There's no hope for me at this <laughs> there point. There is no hope. <laughs> well, what is, so is that the first key, is like counting to four and coordination? Well, for this lesson, we're going to count to two. Okay, I can okay. count to two. We're gonna to count to two and, and still be coordinated. And still, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll start off. We'll start things slow, okay? okay? And if you can do that, yeah, at the same time, then we're pretty, we're looking pretty good. Okay, I think. Anyway, so yeah, is there is there a part that's easier to learn? Is the the, the pedal easier, or is it just going right to the? I think well, uh, for. For people that are just starting out playing drums, I start off with the hands, right? Yeah. We use our hands every day. Of course, we use our feet every day, but sometimes not at the same time, you know? So we start off with the hands, and then we incorporate the foot. Um, and that way, I find um, we just get, like, a wee bit more out of the lesson and stuff, and uh, it, the coord coordination becomes slightly more easier. Once we get the hands sorted, we add in the foot and then sort of join everything together then uh, it sort of, it works out every time, I think. You know? And then like after an hour, I'm going to be as good as Dave Grohl, right? I think so. Okay. Yes, I think so. Yeah, Dave Grohl, Buddy Rich, you know. Yeah, I've got your, this. Eat your heart out, you know. Animal. <laughs> <laughs> Animal from the Muppets, that's my go-to. I want to be him. Exactly, yeah. That's who everybody wants you to be. You need to dye your hair, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> need to mess up a little bit more. But. All right, well, I guess the easiest way to do this is just dive right in, right? Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, well, first things first, let's, let's, Na like, let's name everything. Oh, right? okay. okay. That's right. probably good. Yeah, okay. So, so Bob, Jim. <laughs> not like Bob, that. Jim, Sally. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're all good friends. They're all good family here. Perfect. Right. So <laughs> this big one here. Yeah. On the floor is the kick drum. Okay. Kick, kick drum. Kick drum or bass drum. I like to call it kick drum because you're kind of using that pedal there and you're kind of kicking. Yeah. You know. Um, this, of course, is the snare drum. Snare drum. Okay. The reason it's called the snare drum is because it has snare wires underneath here and if you feel that underneath there oh there's like wires like metal wires ah. there's you know about like 20 underneath there and if you pull this lever up so that's the snare wires touching this bottom of the head there and how we feel underneath there and, and we have to like yeah that obviously changes the sound exactly a lot. it does you know so this is with the snares off just sounds like a drum this is with the snares on so it's a massive difference, you know? Yeah. A massive difference. And these have the same name, right? Tom, Tom. Tom okay. and Tom. Tom, we can, call this, we can call this Tom 1 and call this Floor Tom because it's on the floor. <laughs> Wait, so we went from Tom 1 to Floor Tom. We're Tom 1 to Floor Tom, right? Tom 1 to Floor Tom. Okay. okay. Logic. And, <laughs> and then this is the hi-hat. Hi-hat. Hi-hat, right? And the reason it's called the hi-hat is because... It's higher than the kick drum and the snare drum, and it has two cymbals, right? So one on top, one on the bottom, and you use this pedal here that you use with your left foot to close it and open it. Close it and open it. Okay. Okay. Um, and then the, this, this top cymbal here is attached to this rod, and then you just tighten it and loosen it however you, however you please. Um, crash. Crash. Crash cymbal. It even says on it, 18 inch extra thin hammered crash. Yeah, there we go. You know? Okay, so I can remember that one. Exactly. <laughs> and then this one is called a ride symbol. A ride symbol. Ride symbol. It's oh, yeah. still, it says here crash ride. Crash ride. But I call it a ride symbol. Ride you know? symbol. Um, so yeah. Okay. So what's this one? Kick drum. What's this one? Sneer. What's this one? Hi hat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, crash. Yeah. Ride. Tom Floor. <laughs> Tom Floor. Tom One. Tom One, exactly. Okay. 100%. So that's the first lesson? That's the first lesson. That's us done. That's us Perfect. Do not touch the drum kit whenever yeah. you do it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Show me what to do, or tell me what to do, rather. I guess I'm diving right in. No problem. No problem at all. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our left foot and we're going to put that on the hi-hat pedal. Okay. And we're going to keep the hi-hats closed this whole time. Okay. Okay. So don't move my left foot. Do not move your left foot. Okay. Lesson number one. Okay. So we're going to count to two. Okay. okay. We're going to take our right hand, our right stick, and we're going to play in the hi-hat. One, two. 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 One, two.
one, two. You got it. You got it, man. Awesome. Boom. Right. <laughs> Count to two. So this is going to keep. This is going to be constant. Okay. Okay. This isn't, isn't going to change at all. Okay. Now on two, we're going to play the snare and the hi hat together. So okay. Slowly. One. Two. two. One. Two. Give that a try. Okay. Uh, one. Two. Perfect. One. Two. You got it. <laughs> you got it. That was I got awesome. it. I got it. That was fantastic. Yeah, okay. Getting too cocky. Perfect. You're a natural. You're okay. a natural. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. So wait. Why is my right hand overlapping? Is that just to look cool? Uh, no. Well, or is it because I'm right-handed? It's because you're right-handed. Okay. Right? And uh, if you're left-handed and you're this, so this is a right-handed setup. Okay. Okay. If you you can change like that's the thing like there's not really any rules to like a drum kit setup. I play like this because I was taught like this and I'm more comfortable playing this way. Nice bloke, interesting taste in shirts, um, and he looked pretty petrified, to be honest. Yeah, pretty petrified of this scary looking drum kit. There's lots of instruments going on, lots of sparkles, you know, so um, he, he did an okay job, a not too bad job, you know. He's uh, not my best student that I've had, you know, and he has some sort of coordination issues, but, you know, not too bad. Okay, so we've got the snare and the hi-hat together. Yep. Now we're going to add the kick drum. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna add the kick drum on the one. Okay? okay. Now I just want you to play one just um, over and over again. Okay. So we're gonna go hi hat and kick. Yeah. You can't see, but I'm sticking out my tongue as I do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. You got it. You got okay. it. Man. Okay. So now we're going to combine the two. Okay. When he kept adding in instructions and then just, you know, keeping basic time, doing that one, two, and then three, four, like it's, it's such a simple thing. It, it's terrifying. I don't, I don't understand why I was nervous, but then, then all of a sudden I would get kind of cocky and think I was doing really good. And then I would mess up some little element and that wasn't so fun. One, two, one, two. Perfect. So right try and hit it right in the right center. Right there. Okay. Perfect, yeah. One, two. Yep. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. Oh. <laughs> you got it. You got I got it, it okay. One. Awesome. Great. <laughs> I forgot what that was on, but yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay. So, that, so that's your first drum beat. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to make it slightly more difficult, right? Oh, because you got, that, you got that in like two minutes, <laughs> right? Easy peasy. So now we're going to add more hi-hats. Okay. Now we're going to count to four. Okay. okay. Instead of two. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Now the kick is going to stay where it is. The kick is always going to be in the one. Okay. Always okay. on one. So play that for me. You're going to one, two, three, four. Oh, so oh. we're going to leave the snare. Okay. We're going to do the so kick. One, two, three, four. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Oh, gosh. So now the snare is going to be in three. Okay. Okay. So it'll be one, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, oh. three, four. And one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> okay. Give it a try yourself. Okay. Uh, right. So one, two, three, four, four. That's it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Oh, it's all good. It's all okay. good. But I had it. You had it. <laughs> okay. You had it. Keep going. Keep going. One. Oh, it's all okay. good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, it's hard. Math is hard. <laughs> okay. One, One, two, three, four. One, One two, three, four. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Oh, I'm adding in an extra kick. One, oh wait. One, two, three, four. One, one, oh. <laughs> right, let's 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 try let's try and play the beat four times. So let's kay. like in a row, right? So let's start off slow. Okay. And let's get it right, okay? okay. One, one, two, two three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Yes, yeah. <laughs> nice, good job. All right, okay. all right. So that's like uh, a basic rock beat, right? Yeah. That's in every ACDC song ever. <laughs> Perfect. You know? So, you know. I you can join the band. You can join, <laughs> you can join the band. You can go on tour with them tomorrow. Yeah. When a student starts picking it up and is practicing regularly and is improving, uh, it's a fantastic feeling, you know. I love sharing knowledge and when kids are super into it and they're practicing and you know they're annoying their parents because they're practicing so much it is uh, it's pretty fantastic and it's it's really quite inspiring as well you know as a teacher uh, I of course try my best and uh, try and um, adapt to every student because every student learns differently you know every student learns well some students learn just by looking at what I'm playing and copying me. Some students learn by like the theory side, by writing out stuff and um, so every student learns differently, you know. So it's uh, it's fantastic to see when a student is so eager and is is loving it and is picking it up so well. It's, it's a really, it's a pleasure to teach people like that. Um, so now we've learned a beat, we're going to learn a fill. Okay. okay. Fill is short for fill in. You know, a oh. fill-in is just like, you know, like something around the toms or whatever like that. It's like a break from a beat to move the song into the next section or to bring the song up, um, up tempo a bit. Okay. Like that, you know, so All right. uh, this beat I like to call Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. Okay. Pat Boone, Debbie Boone? Yeah, they're sisters. Okay. Pat, Pat and, Pat and Debbie. Pat and Debbie Boone. Pat and Debbie Boone. All right. right? They're sisters, right? Yeah. So we're going to go Pat As you can see here, the first two notes are on my right hand. Right. Pat, boom, and then we're going to go right, left, right. Pat, boom, baby, boom. So we only use the left hand once. That's exactly okay. right. So pat, boom, baby, boom. Yeah. So the reason I call it Pat Boone, Debbie Boone is because it sounds like dig boom, dig a boom, Pat Boone, Debbie Boone. You know? Yeah, yeah. I think if I was in a rock band, I would probably, <laughs> it would be a lot of work, but I bet you I could do it, right? I mean, I think, I think if Ben wanted to, I could step in at any time and substitute for him. I think I was that good. Here we go. Two, three, four. Pat Boone. Pat Boone. Awesome. Woo! Oh, Thank sweet. you, Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? that's fantastic. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, I would rate him. I'd say I'd say halfway. I'd say a five. Yeah, five's pretty reasonable. You know, as I said, there is potential there, but we really need to really really need to work on it. I'd say. <laughs> so let's try that one more time. Okay. 
and then we'll move on to... I mean, I felt that was pretty good, yeah, but that, okay. was, that was pretty good, that was pretty good. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Now, we're going to add a crash. Ooh. Okay, because we haven't used these at all. No, 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 yeah. no, we haven't. We've used everything else, but we haven't used these at all, right? Kay. So after Pat Boone, Davy Boone, yeah. after Davy Boone, we're going to hit, we'll hit this one. Actually, you know, we'll hit this one. Okay. Right? So we're going to go Pat Boone, Davy Boone, and then we're going to hit this Kay. crash with the kick at the same time. With the kick at the same with time. With the kick at the Oof. same time. So let's try Pat Boone, Davy Boone with a crash and a kick. At the okay. End. Awesome, awesome. Try that one more time. Okay. Awesome. okay, so this crash uh -huh. is now the start of the beat. Okay, uh -huh. so this is one. Okay. Okay, when, you know when you played the, the kick and the hi hat? Yeah. That was one. Now this is one. Okay. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so. Let's practice this now. Okay. okay. Which so, wait, which one do I want to use? Right? Yeah, right, that's right. That's okay. correct, yeah. So one, two, oh, oh, oh. yeah. Right, so we're, so we're, yeah, this. so what we're replacing this first hi hat with this. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> you got it, man. You right. got it. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Oh, I added it. It's all good. Kick, it's all good. Try that one more. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now okay. we're going to try the beat, the Pat Boone, Davy Boone, and then we're going to start. We're going to we're going to go back to the beat. Okay. So okay. start with Pat Boone, Davy Boone. No, wait. So we'll start with the beat. Oh, okay. And then we'll go to Pat Boone, Davy Boone, and then we'll go to beat again. Okay. And starting with one up here. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. You got it right, man. So <laughs> well, again, let's take it slowly. Okay. All right. There's no rush. <laughs> Get hot in here. <laughs> okay. All right. You can do it, man. All right. And then, and then, so, and then beat twice. Twice, so right. twice, yeah. Oh, with that. It's all good. Let's try that again. Okay. All right. And we're, am I repeating afterwards? Is that what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after you finish Pat Boone, Davy Boone, we're going to go back to the beat. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. Pat Boone. Oh, fantastic. Oh, so you've learned a beat and a fill and you've managed to join and it together. And I've joined it together. That's fantastic. Uh, ben as a teacher, well, he was pretty good with my ego, I think, to help me boost it. Uh, I think he did an all right job. He's pretty good at what he does. If he managed to make me, a very uncoordinated person, play that much amount of drums, I think he's a pretty good instructor. Pick and crash. Oh, right. Happen. Woo! Awesome. Woo! That's fantastic. All good for you, man. Oh. That's been, I don't know. So that was like 20 minutes, half an hour or something like that. And you've learned. And I've rocked it. You did it, man. That was fantastic. Really good fun. Thanks. <laughs> right? That's all it is to drop it. It is. It is. Just hitting stuff. Yeah, well, Craig has, uh, you know, he, he has potential there for sure. I saw a, a flicker, a flicker of hope. Um, you know, he did an okay job. He did, a, he did an okay job. Um, he picked it up semi well. Um, you know, I teach a lot of kids, and a lot of kids, um, you know, like they sometimes they pick it up, sometimes they don't. You know, so for sure, I'll need to spend a few more hard working hours with Craig if he wants to become a professional drummer. Honestly, man, fantastic. Really, really good job. All right, let me let me try it one more time. Let's see if I can do it without any screw-ups. Okay. Let's see how fast I can go. <laughs> Maybe not. No. <laughs> we'll go as fast okay. as I can. All right. So. 
Nope. See ya. <laughs> Forgot the kick right away. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Killed it. Killed it. All right, so um, so whenever you are sick and can't perform, do you want me to just fill in for you at the drums? Like, Please. You're, I'm there? You're, you're going to be my first call. Oh, I knew it. You're going to be my first call. Because that's pretty much your whole song, is just me doing that over and over again for three minutes. Yeah, right? just Pat doing Davy Boons all day long. <laughs> for two hours, you know, like, like Pat and I and Davy have got a special connection. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> Sounds great. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, good job, man. Excellent. Amazing. Coming to try drums was something I've always wanted to do. There's a lot of instruments in the world, but drums have been, always been that one that I thought would be a lot of fun to do. Uh, I wasn't sure how hard it would be, but I was pretty impressed with myself of how this turned out today. I would say I did an all right job, and uh, I was excited to give it a whirl, and I think I rocked it. So, you know what, if I could do this much, I think a lot of people could probably learn the drums. If you want to be a professional drummer and you want to take it seriously, just like anything, you need to work hard at it. Drumming especially takes a long time. It's a marathon, be patient, don't rush anything, and be just be dedicated and, and motivated. Set goals for yourself. If, if you want to be a professional musician, set goals for yourself weekly, monthly, so that gives you the motivation to actually practice and buy books, learn how to read music. I know a lot of musicians that don't know how to read music um, and I think it's a vital asset if you want to be a professional musician. So practice, practice reading, um, be dedicated and motivated sometimes, you know, like you want to go outside and, and or just have a chill day, you know, well if, well, if you want to be a professional musician, you got to you got to practice for three, four hours, sometimes eight hours a day, you know? So, um, yeah, you'll, you'll find that passion. And uh, the business side as well, a lot, of people, a lot of people don't really mention this. Being a musician has a lot, you need to know a lot of, uh, you know, the business side of the music industry, you know? Know your industry inside and out. Know who to talk to, network, that sort of thing. So. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my advice for, for young musicians, young and uh, uh, aspiring musicians. Well, there you go, everyone. I've tried the drums. I think I did better than I expected, and I think that there's a lot of work to be done there, but that's going to take a lot of time, and I don't think I have the time for that. So I think I better just go try something else. I'll see you next time, everyone.